Hey guys, it's Jackman for Thousand here, and today I'm going to be giving you a little bit of a tutorial on how to manually update your Punk Buster for World at War multiplayer. As uh, a lot of people are having this problem, at least with that people don't don't have the Steam copy, so like just the disc copy of the game, or maybe even the Steam copy um, of not being able to play World at War multiplayer. Uh, so I don't know. You have to go and pretty much manually update it, and I figured this out myself. But some other people I was trying to play with, they couldn't seem to really figure it out themselves, so I had to try and walk them through it. And apparently they're pretty stupid and don't know how to do it themselves, even though it's pretty straightforward. Then again, they might just be lazy and retarded like me, sometimes, like, for instance, with physics homework. Because I really hate that shit. I fucking hate physics with a passion. I didn't think it would be that hard, and now it's just really gay. I hate vectors, that's about all. Um, so yeah, but for me, I don't know. I find this stuff easy. So, I'm just going to quickly show you how to do it. I'm going to give you a direct link anyways in the description, but you know this is good for future reference. Um, so you're going to go to Call of Duty World at War. Click on that. <gasps> you're gonna see all this crap. You're gonna go and like shat your pants. Roll down. You're gonna go. And before I forget, yes, you're gonna hear that weird, annoying, high pitched noise in the background. Nothing I can do about that. It's my shitty fucking laptop mic. I know it's a fifteen hundred dollar laptop. It's a fucking gaming laptop too from Asus. It's not, I don't really use it primarily for gaming. I game on it once in a while, but not really for that. Just cause of, like high on high end shit. But they still give me a shitty mic. I'm really pissed off. Anyways, I'll try and get a use my better desktop mic uh, headset, bring it over here next time. Anyways, you're gonna go down to here and it's gonna click software updates because that's we, what we want. We don't care about the fucking online manuals and shit. Go to download and you're gonna look at all this. You're gonna shat your pants and you see all this. You're like, what the fuck is ICO02308.htm? You're not gonna fucking know. You're not gonna even fucking care. Because that's about not where we're clicking. We are clicking all the way up here where it says the big notice is designed to auto update itself during gameplay. But, if you need to manually update, use this thingy. So you click on that thingy. And then you go like, oh! And then it gives you like this big long list of like what you need to do and all that. And you're like, oh my god, that's complicated. Anyways, so if you're a Windows user, you're going to click all Windows games. I hope most of you are Windows users. If you are Linux or Mac, I guess you click one of the Linux or Mac links. Duh! So you're going to click on for all Windows games. And now if you can't type in this stupid security code yourself, uh, I cannot help you. Because I can give you this link right here. But I cannot type in this goddamn security code for you. That, you gotta do yourself. Because if you can't, you must be mentally retarded. And I will not be to help you any further. So you can go and save this. I actually already have it saved on my desktop, so I'm not gonna do it. And you're gonna go in here, and you're gonna go to it. And you're gonna run the only exe in the goddamn .zip file. I don't even know why they put in the .zip. Maybe it's because they're retarded. I don't know. Anyways, it's kind of obvious what to do. So you click run and if you're stupid you will click I disagree and it will just close the thing or you can be smart and open up again and click I agree because if you are actually have enough time to go and sit there and read all that uh, you must be retarded because if you have ever installed iTunes I swear to god it's like 60 pages of terms and conditions and if anyone's actually read that well oh my god you need a life as for all I know it might say in here by installing the software you agree to suck the owner's penis but I don't know, so I might end up actually being agreeing that one day some guy may come to my door, ask me to suck his penis. I will say no, because you know I wouldn't prefer not to. And then he'll say, "Well, technically, by this binding contract agreement for downloading Punkbuster on page 59, subsection B, line three, you said you will suck the owner's penis." So that'd be really awkward, and I guess I would kind of have to do that now, wouldn't I? But anyways, if you really want to be protected against this kind of stuff. I guess maybe you might have to waste half your life reading all this. But if you're like me and you really don't give a fuck and you hope that's not going to happen, you're going to click I agree. And I actually already ran it and said it needs to check for updates anyways. This should take like under 10 seconds. Like not even. There we go. And so you're going to go and add a game. And since we're adding World at War because we're downloading World at War, you're going to do World at War. If you're doing a different game for whatever reason you want friggin' update ATV Reloaded, go and update APB Reloaded. I don't even have the game. It's just going to the default directory. That's what it does. Anyways, so, Call of Duty World at War. This is going to go my default directory. Inside the disk copy, it is going to go there. And if it doesn't, if you have the Steam copy, um, I don't, I don't know. If you have the Steam copy, I actually do not know if it goes into there. Uh, if you have an activation World at War folder, I don't believe you would. Uh, I don't believe you actually would, no. But, so where is it? Yeah, it just goes into here. So anyways, if you get the Steam copy, you, all you're going to do differently is if you're stupid and you don't know how to install it for Steam, you're just going to go to computer, OS, program file 86, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, Steam, 
and you're gonna go to Steam Apps, and you're gonna go to Common, and then you're gonna find your game folder, which World at War would be in here if I had it on Steam. So, say so yeah, it was Left 4 Dead 2, whatever, let's pretend that's Steam, I click OK, and there we go, it would go into here, and that would work. There we go. I would assume that's what you'd probably do. Or if it comes up with some other default directory other than this. I don't know, maybe you can try this, if it doesn't work, then try the other one. I don't know, maybe Punkbuster realizes you have Steam installed for World at War, I don't fucking know. You click Add Game. Okay, you click add game, and now you go check for updates because you're checking for updates for that game. So then it goes and downloads all this new shit, and well, since I just already downloaded it, already it shouldn't need any new updates. But for you people, it might because when I did do the update, the manual a manual update, it um what call it downloaded some shares. So yeah, that's about all. Hope you enjoyed. Actually, I don't think you can really enjoy it in tutorial. So I hope it helped. There you are.